Hello, my name is Keely Denenberg. I'm Senior VP of Client Solutions here at Orange Grove Consulting. Today, I'm joined by Kelly Watson, Managing Partner at Orange Grove Consulting, and we are continuing the conversation about DEI analytics. More and more organizations do have access to data analytics from various sources. So Kelly, my question to you is, why would um, an HR professional decide to use a DEI specialist when it comes to data analytics? Um, so great question. There's really three areas. One is that often companies don't have the skills in-house. It wasn't something that maybe you know folks were trained in in the past, and so they don't have access to those skills now when we're asking these more complicated decision questions, right? Um, secondly, they may have outside vendors who do have these skills and do have systems, but each of these systems tend to be proprietary and focused on just the area that, you know, that, that they cover. So you might have payroll specialists and they're going to give you payroll stats and allow you to, to run cuts a certain way. But that data then can't be merged with other information in the company that, you know, may inform um, things like uh, whether or not you have pay equity. So, um, and then the third is that, you know, data is about asking the right questions. And so if you're going to ask DEI questions, you really need someone who's experienced with seeing the types of things that can go wrong <laughs> with DEI to be helping you ask those questions. And so, you know, if I think about it, for example, um, one of the things that, you know, people look at is or might might ask a question about is what is the turnover rate for the women in our organization? And if you just look at turnover at the top line, you may not see a lot of the situation that's happening below the ground, right? So you might um, instead look at things like, well, okay, so for the, for pe people are turning over, we have women turning over at a higher rate. What is the time to promotion for those women? Are we finding that you know we're doing a great job of recruiting it maybe, and we've got folks engaged in the organization, we've me measured with engagement surveys, but we have a situation where it's taking women, you know, twice as long to get promoted through the chain. That may be an explanation variable that is just not, it doesn't occur to anybody else to test. And so those are the types of things we, we look at all of the causes of, or, or really, um, you know, the contributing proxy data for why a metric is a certain way. And we're able to ask those questions because we've seen it before. And we can provide the recommendations for how to help solve that challenge, which I think we've seen our clients do um, in the past. And so we can recommend really actionable, impactful solutions. Well, thank you, Kelly. This was super helpful. Thank you everyone for watching. Look back to our YouTube channel for more conversations. Thank you.